Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm talking a bit about the new micro pack in Velostrone and more specifically I'm going to talk about rates so most people will be flying in the sim in angle mode for flying these quads I'm just in line of sight here at the moment flying the the Mobula 6 as we can see here and uh, and it's in angle mode now what I want to talk about is how we do the rates in the sim so when you first load up a quad in the sim it will be in angle mode but it will be in angle mode and it will be in rate profile 1 now that's a normal rate profile so you're in angle mode and you're in a normal rate profile if you click on the well, I need to explain what I mean by a normal rate profile, I suppose. So let's just go into beta flight for a second and we'll just change to rate, rate profile one. So a normal rate profile is one where you have RC rate set and super rate set and you have your max velocities for pitch and roll set here. So, so your rates are affecting what's going on in roll and pitch uh, and of course also in your. And that's a normal rate profile. But there is another rate profile in the sim, which is rate profile 2, which is set up via or according to the guidelines for Project Mockingbird. Uh, so these are Project Mockingbird rates. And these are the way Project Mockingbird set up rates to tune a quad so that it flies really, really nicely in angle mode. And what Project Mock Mockingbird uh, advocates is that actually you don't have anything set in RC rate and super rate so your roll and pitch up here are, are set to zero and you can ignore these max velocities here because they're not re they're not actually really doing anything this is effectively turned turned off so roll and pitch don't have anything going on with RC rate super rate or RC expo none of what the quad is doing is being controlled by these values obviously the PIDs are still all working but your rates are no longer being controlled from here they're being controlled with the angle strength and the angle limit so the angle strength what that does is that controls how quickly the cord is going to try and move when you move the stick so this is kind of like RC rate and super rate so if you turn this up the quads going to try and move more quickly to your stick position and then when you let go of the stick it's going to move back to zero more quickly and if you turn it down it's going to do that more softly so that's what the angle strength does and then the angle limit controls how far the quad will tip over and this is at the moment set for very beginner type control now angle strength of 50 is actually fine even for a pro pilot but angle limit if you're a, a pro pilot needs to go up because you actually need to be able to get the quad tilted forward more you might want it a bit more roll angle if you want to use roll when you're when you're doing your turns and it just basically gives you more control of the quad at speed if you turn the angle limit up so for for somebody who wants to fly quicker then you would put this up to like 75 or 80 or something like that so you can get the quad tipped up more and then angle strength you just tune that to taste but actually 50 is is actually reasonably nice but if you want the quad to respond more quickly you can turn this up or if you feel that angle mode is kind of interfering with your sticks more than you'd like and you'd like a softer response then you can turn this down so these are the project mockingbird rates and this is zeroed out RC rate and super rate thing will look weird to anyone who's come from 5 inch but for anyone who races micro quads tiny whoops and that sort of thing this is perfectly normal everyone knows that project mockingbird you turn this stuff off and then you configure with angle strength and angle limit instead now why do you do that and the reason you do that is because actually inside of the pick controller when you set super rates and and RC rates and RC expo it fights with what's going on with angle strength and angle limit so you've got these two settings that are fighting with each other to try and do what you've configured whereas if you turn off the RC rate and super rate and the RC expo and you just run from 
angle strength and angle limit you get a much cleaner control system for your quad when it's in angle mode and it just flies way way better when in angle mode and gives you much much nicer control so if i just switch back in here i've just turned my so so angle strength for example is how quickly it will do this so tip forward and return so if we i'm at 50 at the moment let me just turn my sticks on so you can see what i'm doing here so you can see how quickly it responds this is going back now if i go back into my settings here and i turn angle strength right down so let's go down to 20 for example and now i do the same thing you can see it's much softer in getting to the maximum angle limit and it's much softer in returning and that can make the quad feel kind of smoother to fly because it's not trying to fight you as much when you come off the sticks to return to the center position but it does make the quad slower to respond when you're trying to turn or roll or pitch if you turn the angle strength up let's say you go all the way up to I don't know, let's, let's call that to 100 now you'll see that the quad is really fast to respond to my sticks but also really fast to return and this can make the quad feel like it's all a bit kind of jerky it's not smooth but it does give you much, much faster control you you can bank and you can roll and you can pitch much more quickly for when you're racing as I say I for me I leave it at 50 it feels okay for me at 50 it gives me the kind of response I need but you want to tune that to taste so that's how you replace what's going on here with this one value here and then how far you, the quad tilts is this value here so I say to 75 so if I bring this all the way back to say let's let's say 40 go a bit further than I need to so now you can see that I've only got a little bit of tilt now and I've only got a little bit of roll so I can't turn that quickly anymore and I have to do really big stick deflections in order to turn because my ability to pitch forward and my ability to roll is far reduced so that's what that's what the angle limit is doing and if I turn this back up to the 75 value that I was running and click save then you can now see that I can actually turn more quickly and bank more quickly and I've got a more responsive quad which allows me to control the quad a bit more than I could before so you just use these two parameters to tune the quad instead of using all these parameters up here to tune the quad and as I say on all of the micro quads this is on rate profile too but we actually put in a quick way for you to get to this so most people will know that if you press one two or three at the top of your keyboard not on the keypad but at the top of your keyboard those will that will change between angle horizon and rate mode so if you press one it changes you into angle mode and what you'll probably notice in the middle of the screen up the top here when I pressed one it automatically changed me to the project mockingbird rates for angle mode and if I press three for rate mode it automatically changes me to beta flight profile one for rate mode and if I press two which is horizon it uses beta flight profile three and it only does this on the micro quads because we know people fly micro quads using rate mode or angle mode or horizon mode depending on the pilot but it will automatically switch to one of those rate profiles for you so you just need to tune rate profile one for acro rate profile two for angle and rate profile three for horizon and then you can use the keys one two and three to just quickly switch between those profiles for you automatically or you can just click this button up here and it will do the exactly the same thing you can see it's changing the profiles for you as I do that and this is information that all of our beta testers knew but I just realized today that probably most of the customers didn't know we did this but we did so you should know that rate profile one is acro 
rate profile 2 is project mockingbird for angle and rate profile 3 is for horizon and it does have rates in here for horizon mode um, and you can tune the two for horizon mode you, you actually use both so um, that's what I want to get across in this video I want to explain how all this works because I think people will find that if they use the keys and they tune rate profile 2 for angle mode you'll find the quad fly, flies way way better than if you're messing around with RC rate and super rate and all that stuff and angle mode because if you do that then your rates are just fighting with what angle mode is trying to do and you don't want to do that you you want to use the project mockingbird way of doing it because it just flies way better okay so that ended up a bit longer than i wanted but i hope it gives a really good overview of how to get the best out of the rates and the settings that we put into the micro pack to allow you to to get the most out of the the micro quads okay so that's it i'll see you on the next video